That's all laid out in here, the DSM. That's the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. It's updated every decade or so, and it's the standard reference book that's used by doctors to diagnose and classify various mental health, behavioral, and developmental conditions. And basically, the way we diagnose autism is based on behaviors we can see from the outside. But that doesn't tell the whole story, because autism isn't just a behavioral condition. There's biology and genetics behind this stuff that we are just starting to truly untangle. Like the fact that autistic brains are different. One 2024 study scanned the brains of autistic adults and found they had a lower density of synapses than neurotypical folks. Synapses are the structures between neurons that allow them to pass messages to one another. Many lines of research have found the same thing. There are real differences in how neurotypical and autistic brains are structured and connected. But where do these brain differences come from? Lots of different lines of evidence point to autism starting at the earliest stages of life, meaning post-conception as a body and brain are developing in utero, even before a baby is born. 